You ready? Don't get my hands in there. Uh, I, I actually am because just a test. Okay, and action. How you doing? Doing great. You look, you look pretty fabulous there. I am fabulous. That pose. So, you excited? Tell me that I'm getting punched. Yep, you're getting punched. Look like I'm giving punch to people. You have to say that. You're, getting, you're gonna get punched. Wait, what? <laughs> um. Go machine, go. Looking pretty boss, Kyle. Sunglasses inside. Yeah, look like you're gonna do a mafia like hit or something. Head. I'd be scared of you. Okay, everyone move in a little bit closer. Basically, every time we finish a film, the next thing that we think is, okay, let's do another one. And we really want to take this one seriously and make this one our first better film that we could put out there on the Blue Band channel. Then after the first day of shooting, I noticed that there was like a whole bunch of blue in the film. Like the flower was blue, Tyler's tie was blue, uh, Courtney's dress was blue. So I was like, you know what? Maybe the only color in this film should be blue. So that's what I ended up doing. And I think it looks pretty cool. The colors in the film is the, one of my favorite parts about it. Only showing blue and the rest gray really emphasizes our characters more in the movie. It just adds something cool to it. Even though it was just a film, it was very hard putting on my face for the camera. But to get in that mood, I thought about something sad, if I was filming something sad and I, I felt like I would feel in real life. Yeah. Got your bag full of tricks, Andrew. Yep. <laughs> okay. You'll see if we're going to that <laughs> Andrew, your camera is unbelievable. That's scary. In a good way. You bought that? Yeah, that's Canon 70D. So I have the T5i, and it's like, I don't know, a model below this, but the quality is just so good. Look at that. Yeah. Okay. Cool. You want behind the scenes to keep rolling? Yep. What is it? Oh God, do that again. So much lens flare in this shot. It's awesome. Here, another of I actually used the lighting from there, but it's okay. All right. Smile. All right, everybody ready? You can't have any though. Oh, okay. Really? I'm bigger and tougher than you. Well, anyway, I like big dogs. I think I'm coming up to a final shot. We have three takes to do this to share your glass. Oh, I thought it was only two because one of well, them's a test. Yeah, yeah, one moment. of them's going to be a test. So basically, uh, your hands were like, the, do you remember how your hands were positioned? Somewhere. I'm going to be the first one to say it. Can I hit her? Hmm? Like with the glass. Can I, <laughs> can, I be, can I be that guy? You brought a jerk yeah. to prom. 
We're gonna need one of these chairs, so I'm gonna have you go like that and go through the windshield. Okay? Now, I'm confused on how the rest of it is shown. Because it's a car, and there's more to a car than a windshield. Well, she goes through the windshield, and I'm gonna show her hit like the front of the car, and like some glass just kind of fall. Okay. So when you cut it together, it'll, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, that's it. We're just gonna quick move. Yep. Flash. Everybody ready? Crash bags and bottom. Okay, Noah. Uh, hey, show David real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm David Chapman. The process of storyboarding from beginning to end begins with Andrew and I, or the, any director and I, getting together and deciding exactly what they want to be in the shot. My job as the storyboard artist is to take exactly what the director has in mind and put it down on paper for the rest of his actors and crew to understand so that the scene will come out perfectly just as the director imagines it. My job is to take the picture that he imagines, put it on paper so that all of his cast and crew will perfectly understand what he wants. I would say that this was one of my best experiences working with a cast and crew on a film because first of all, the entire process going through, uh, we stayed completely on schedule. At the beginning, I was like, I want this done in three weeks. We got it done in three weeks. I mean, not kind of the editing, but uh, we stayed on schedule. I was able to get the set pieces that I wanted. I mean, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to pull off the prom scene or not. And I mean, even though not as many people came as we wanted, we still were able to pull it off. Um, I'm very happy with the way it looks. Tyler's acting was extremely good. He was able to pull off the emotion. Um, really great working with Courtney, Vince, Noah, everybody. It was an extremely good process and I look forward to working with some of these people in the future. I would love to go through this process again because I had a great time filming with Courtney Winnie. I had a lot of fun filming um, for Andrew's film and definitely the best day was the longest day and the day we broke the glass all over my face. That was definitely one of the most fun days that I've had filming. Run Noah! He can't hear you. He cannot hear you. But other than that, it looks like you really cut your head. Good. You should just be recording that. It's kind of funny. She's See, kidding. now this, we're, we're not going to be able to tell if she's uh, actually bleeding. Not, not. Yeah. Okay. Andrew in his rightful place. We need to do a better afterwards. job of this. Yeah. Hand me a broom. No, David, Let's just do lay the down. Final shot and then I'm not using it. that broom. Okay. Filming out of order was very chaotic, not knowing which scene was going to be next, and shooting the very end of the film and then going to shooting the very beginning of the film was very different for me. Just because it was like I died and then I was alive and then I was in a car accident, and then I was dancing. So it was like, I don't even know. It was the coolest thing. So like I said, every time we finish a film, the next thing is, what are we doing next? And our next project we have been planning for a really long time. Um, as you can see by my shirt, our next project is going to be called Wayside Revolution. Um, it is basically a superhero vigilante web series, and I think it's going to be really awesome. Um, I'm really looking forward to putting it out there, and most of the people who worked on this um, will be returning, and we will have a trailer out in May. Thank you very much. <laughs>